Swimming in Iceland, Silfra Fissure is a unique and unforgettable experience. It's located in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Thingvetlir National Park. The glacier water is filtered for 30 years going through the layers of lava and is a drinkable grade. It's crystal clear and cold, about 2 degrees Celsius. Its incredible visibility allows you to enjoy the breathtaking views over 100 meters deep. So if you are an adventurous person, put snorkeling in Iceland on your bucket list. In August 2023, I enjoyed snorkeling in Silfra Fissure, but faced some unforeseen challenges. So in this video, I'll share with you some tips on how to make your snorkeling experience the best. There are a few companies offering this activity. We choose Troll Expeditions, Golden Circle and Snorkel in Silfra, 10 hours tour because it allowed us to save time and money by doing more experiences all in one day. This guided tour provided transportation through the Golden Circle natural sites and snorkeling in Silfra Fissure between the North American and Eurasian continents. In the end, it included some free snacks and some unique underwater photos of you sent by email. Not everybody can participate in snorkeling, only people from the age of 12 to 69. Age 12 to 18 have to have a guardian with them. Age 60 to 69 have to bring a doctor's signed health approval note. All participants have to complete the snorkeling medical statement and sign a waiver. There were some people in our group who paid for the full tour but were not able to snorkel due to some physical limitations such as you need to know how to swim, be physically fit, have certain height and certain weight, not be pregnant, be able to communicate in English and be okay wearing a tight dry suit that will compress your veins and arteries on your neck and wrists for an extended period of time. It's important to put the base layer in the comfort of your hotel, because the snorkeling site doesn't have any changing rooms. The company will provide you with a thermal undersuit and you will put it on in a cold trailer next to other men and women. After that, they will provide you and help you to put on a waterproof dry suit. If you have long hair and a sensitive scalp like I do, it can be a challenge. The dry suit opening is very tiny and rubbery and it can pull your hair out. Having a high ponytail and wearing a headband helped me a lot. Overall, these three layers are warm enough for snorkeling in ice water. However, my feet were frozen, especially my big toes. The boots are huge and there is plenty of space inside. I wished I brought some extra warm socks. Try to not eat or drink too much before snorkeling because as soon as you put all your layers on, you will not be able to go to the restroom for about three hours, which, being in cold surroundings, can be a challenge. Once we geared up, we received an orientation and a safety briefing. We learned that even though the Thingvetlir National Park is comprised of two drifted continents, North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, Silfra fissure is not an actual crack between these two continents, so we will not swim between the continents as advertised. Our itinerary. It starts in Silfra Hall, the widest section of the fissure, goes through the Silfra Cathedral, the deepest section, and ends up at the shallow Silfra Lagoon. Now we got the rest of the gear and walked about 10 minutes to the starting point. When we arrived, 
there were a lot of people divided into small groups waiting 30-40 minutes for their turn to snorkel. The dive master explained that the dry suit was floating and we cannot drown in it. He took our pictures and we practiced two positions, swimming belly down for snorkeling and sitting belly up if we needed help. Personally, I expected to take my time and enjoy snorkeling. However, we were asked to move through the fissure together as a group and do not block the passage for the groups behind us. We had to move on a timely basis and it felt like a conveyor. As a result, I constantly bumped into somebody's flippers and felt rushed. Luckily, when we reached the flat area of Silver Lagoon, we had more freedom to enjoy snorkeling on our own without being rushed. So how to avoid it? Do not go to Iceland in August, which is one of the busiest months of the year. Silver tours are open all year round. The less crowded months are from November to May except the Christmas season from December 15 to January 6. Or, if you don't mind spending extra, consider a private snorkeling in Silvra 3 hours tour. Upon exiting the water, I was happy, but had frozen feet and was hungry. <laughs> I was not offered any hot chocolate or chocolate bars as advertised, so I was glad I had some bananas and water in the minivan. It takes a while to get back to Reykjavik, so I would recommend to bring your own snacks. If you want to see your underwater pictures promptly, I would suggest taking your own pictures or asking somebody to help you because in my case it took me about one month and a few follow-up emails to finally get my pictures. In conclusion, swimming in Iceland, Silfra Fissure, is a truly unforgettable and unique experience like no other. I hope you find my suggestions useful. Keep them in mind and you will have the best snorkeling experience ever. If you want to see my full underwater experience, please watch this video. And if you like and subscribe, I would appreciate it.